Today we're going to combine potent rust removers with a powerful sonic cleaner in order to discover the ultimate rust removing combination. We want a rust remover that's affordable, effective, and doesn't damage the base metal. Nobody wants crusty nuts. We'll test our solutions on some moderately rusted objects and tools to find out how to get the most out of our rust removers. And finally, we'll see how quickly a fiber optic laser engraver can blast through rust. Project Farm did a great video testing all of these rust removers, and these were the top three. Crud Cutter was number one in his tests, but the comments insisted that Evapo Rust would have performed better had it been combined with heat. So we're going to test that. We'll start with some controlled tests on artificially rusted nuts to get an idea of each rust remover's baseline performance. I'm stripping the zinc coatings off the nuts with concentrated vinegar and applying a homemade rust accelerator. Using a heat gun in conjunction with repeated misting of the accelerator seems to yield the best results. We'll start by submerging four rusty nuts into each solution, and we'll remove one after 10 minutes, one after an hour, one after six hours, and the last one after 24 hours. When your nuts are around something toxic and corrosive, make sure to use protection. After 10 minutes, the muriatic acid has already removed all of the surface rust, as has the crowd cutter. The evapo rust hasn't done much at all. After one hour, not much has changed. The muriatic acid and crud cutter both still look good, and the evapo rust does not. After six hours, we've got some visible corrosion forming from the muriatic acid. The crud cutter still looks good with no visible corrosion. And the evapo rust has finally started to make notable progress. Now we're at 24 hours into submersion, and the muriatic acid is still working hard. This little pick is looking pretty rough. The corrosion has gone crazy on this last nut. The crud cutter's rust inhibitor seems to at least be doing something compared to the other solutions. And the evapo rust has finally cleaned up much of the surface rust. It isn't perfect, but it's most of the way there. Now I'm going to let these sit out in the shop in the open air and we'll check back on that rust inhibitor after a couple of days. So it's been 48 hours since the last shot and wow, look at that. That's what happens if you don't neutralize the acid on the metal surface. Crud Cutter's rust inhibitor had mixed results. The six hour nut did not do well, and I want to see if it was just a fluke, so we'll do some more testing on that. The evapo rust did not appear to inhibit new rust at all. Here we see it compared to a control nut. It takes longer to achieve the same results compared to the other products, but the gentle nature of the solution is going to be a lot easier on the base metals. Now we're going to weigh all of these nuts to see how much base metal they lost. The average weight of the nuts was 15.81 grams to start. The 24 hour muriatic acid nut lost about 20% of its total weight. Both the crud cutter and evapo rust had a negligible effect on the base metal. Before we dive into combining rust removers with the sonic cleaner, I've got to say, if you don't have a silicone tray like this in your shop, you are missing out. It's got a lip around the rim, so it's great for corralling small parts, and the silicone makes it heat and chemical resistant. This one has been drenched in muriatic acid, covered in salt, and blasted with the heat gun. And it's as good as new after a quick wipe down. The best part is they're super cheap on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Going forward, we'll focus on the evapo rust and crud cutter because we know that muriatic acid is powerful, but that power comes at the cost of being corrosive. So, will the evapo rust do better by combining it with the sonic cleaner? Spoiler, yes, it will. These bolts and washers look ready for testing. We'll add heat to our next test, but we'll skip the ultrasonic function for now. The temperature is at a balmy 60 Celsius or 140 Fahrenheit, and our first test will be on nuts from the same rusted batch we used before, as well as rusted washers. This time we'll remove samples after 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 1 hour. We want to see how much faster the rust removers work with heat and later heat combined with the hypersonic cleaning. Here's what we have after 5 minutes, with crud cutter on the left and evapo rust on the right. With just heat, the crud cutter still beats the evapo rust, but the evapo rust performed much better than it did in the submersion test without heat. Now we'll zip through this. Here's 15 minutes, and now 30 minutes, and finally after an hour in the heated solution. Evapo rust performed as well in 15 minutes in the heated solution as it did in 24 hours without heat. The 30 minute and 1 hour nuts perform better still. And every crud cutter sample looks great. The evapo rust on the left is what it looks like after being heated for an hour, and the stuff on the right is brand new that we'll use for the sonic cleaning. We'll be using some lightly rusted bolts and more nuts from the same batch that we used in our previous tests. If you don't know, an ultrasonic cleaner uses high frequency sounds that create microscopic bubbles on the surface of whatever you're cleaning. And they actually sound like this. 
I've muted the high-pitched shrieking sound and will listen to bubbles instead. Their effectiveness is matched only by their annoyingness. And speaking of annoying, it's time to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe because it really makes a huge difference. After just five minutes, we have a massive amount of rust removed. Just a reminder, here's what those bolts looked like five minutes ago. And here's what they look like after 15 minutes in the ultrasonic cleaner. The rust in the threads is completely gone now. In fact, every bit of visible rust is gone. The nut threads perfectly under the bolt as if it had never been rusted at all. We'll call this test over at the 15 minute mark. I'm going to take them out, rinse them off, and dip them in crud cutter to see if rinsing and re-dipping helps the rust inhibitor. 48 hours later, and it looks like rinsing and re-dipping did help the rust inhibitor, but it's still not perfect. Crud cutter is on the left and evapo rust on the right. On the bottom are the original samples from our submersion test that had been rusting for about four days. I did dip everything from the sonic cleaning test in the crud cutter, including the evapo rust. Here's a side by side comparison a zinc coated nut, a rusty nut, the crud cutter nut, and finally the evapo rust nut. Now let's see if the evapo rust can handle something more challenging. This was a test piece for my screw and bolt extractor video last Christmas, and it's been sitting here rusting ever since. We'll give it 15 minutes in the ultrasonic cleaner with the same evapo rust that I used on that drill chuck you saw earlier. Evapo rust is reusable, so you can just bottle it up and use it again. That metal looks incredible. The gunk here at the top is epoxy that I spilled on it a couple months back. The threads cleaned up enough to work again, although they do have some discoloration. What an incredible transformation in just 15 minutes. Before we get to blasting the rust away with the laser engraver, let's do one last test to see how the evapo rust and ultrasonic cleaner combination handles deeper pitted rust like we see on this wrench. Here's a 15 minute time lapse over just a few seconds, and you can see just how effective the combination is. The wrench just sheds all the rust. There's nothing we can do about the deep pitting already present, but I think the evapo rust did a fantastic job of removing the rust. And for reference, here's what this wrench used to look like when it was brand new. My takeaway is muriatic acid is cheap and easy, but it might wreck your nuts. Crud cutter is perfect but pricey, and evapo rust is great if you have patience or a sonic cleaner. I paid $0.08 cents per ounce for the muriatic acid, $0.20 cents per ounce for the evapo rust, and $0.48 cents an ounce for the crud cutter. This is an EM Smart fiber optic laser engraver, and this is in real time, not sped up at all. I know there are very expensive lasers out there that are purpose built for removing rust, but I was curious how this little machine would handle it. Leave me a comment and let me know if you'd like to see an in-depth video about this cool little machine. And I'd like to give a massive, massive thank you to everybody who has subscribed, donated, or purchased a membership here or on Patreon. Thank you so much and thanks for watching.